everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers. And in today's episode we're going to be shooting off um, across, a, across a county um, because I'm able to secure um, some garden bits of equipment off of a um, auction site and um, I think I'm picking up um, a generator, two or three hedge cutters and I think maybe four or five strimmers, somewhere in that line. Um, I might be wrong on some of the numbers, um, but I believe there's about six or seven items total, something on that line. So I'm shooting over to a place called Hurst Pier Point, which is just the other side of Brighton, if you like, to go and pick these bits up. And I've got all six or seven bits of equipment for a relatively good price um, hoping that if I can sell um, one item I should near enough get my money back but I have a sneaky feeling I may have to wait until next season to get the money back because as you all know we're into October now so the strimmers and um, hedge cutters are going to be not in very high demand so it's a, it's a bit of a purchase for, for next season. But I was also running out of stuff to do for the channel. So I've got a couple of bits left. I've still got um, some mows in that need to be worked on. I've got a few, not a great deal. I've got it just about right this year. Coming out of a season with probably four or five mowers left. Whereas last year, I had quite a few left actually. But I've been speaking to somebody else on, on YouTube. He's also got a nice mower collection or extensive mower collection. And he's on about the possibility of me purchasing some mowers off of him as well and doing some further trading with him, which would be cool. And it's just about trying to find where you can get these mowers, strimmers, hedge cutters at the right price and at the right time because you don't really want to be left with having sort of 15 or 20 mowers all ready to go and have to winterise the whole lot because that takes time to do and then even winterising some of your mowers doesn't always guarantee they're going to start the following year so I think I've got left the Husqvarna which is at a good price I've got the big um, black McCulloch because I'm, I'm still waiting to um, get a blade to turn up for that and an air fill which has been ordered but I have had some interest on that mower so that's pretty good I've still got a quo cast which needs a cable bits and pieces and I've still got the old Ryobi which I've had all season but the gentleman I was speaking to in the live chat reckons he may have a grass box for that Ryobi so that would be fantastic if he does um, that's going to need to be brought back into the shed and to be sanded down and sprayed because the weather has got to it only just surface very very light surface bubbling rust so I need to sort of sand that back and give that a new new look of paint and a, and a lacquer as well so that would be a nice project to do in the winter I haven't long got out of bed to be fair time is now midday <coughs> and the people over in Hurst Pier Point they shut up by about half two I think so I've just about got enough time to shoot over there and back I didn't get in till quite quite late last night or this morning because uh, I had a relatively big job on last night repairing my line. So I've had about five hours kip. Just about saw Riley Boy before he went off to school and got my head down back up four or five hours later on. So I've got about a 40 minute drive maximum over to Hurst Pier Point and <coughs> Got to get that done, pick that up, come back before Riley Boy finishes school. So, quick swig of my old coffee. This, be, this might be extremely hot. It might even help I push a button. Yeah, that's hot, man. I actually thought it was going to be, but it's, it's, but it's drinkable. So, on top of that, once I pick these, um, these bits and pieces up, I've then got to shoot over to my sister's house. Um, 
because her it was her birthday the other day because I've been working nights and I haven't been able to catch up with her so I've got a card here and I've got a nice nice bottle of mulled wine for her for her, for her birthday we should appreciate that because she loves Christmas so happy birthday to my uh, little sister Tor she hasn't appeared in any videos yet but uh, she will do in the future so the equipment I'm picking up there's a couple of there's a couple of sort of cheapos in there because as you know the, the high end stuff you know that goes for good money strong money doesn't tend to sell a, a great deal in my area <clears throat> so all your steel and Husqvarna's they do sell after a while but they don't ever tend to make make the money that they would some, somewhere else in the country so I'm picking up a very very small generator and all of these are sold as spares or repair the generator is I can't remember what it is it's just like it's a, a home branded name it's not a very big one but even if the generator doesn't sell it could be a good little tool to have uh, in the workshop especially as I'm building uh, bits and pieces anyway to run sort of grinders and uh, drills or even just run some lighting just until I get sorted out so that'll be okay I've got a I should have two two hedge cutters one's a Kawasaki and I think one's a McCulloch and the McCulloch one doesn't look very old now I've had some good experiences with the McCulloch hedge cutters and I've had some pretty bad experiences with the Kawasaki range but hopefully there would be quick fixes and then I'm also picking up an FCO strimmer which is quite a good make over here in the UK you know a mid-ranger it's not it's not a, uh, a, a professional one but uh, it is it's not bad it's up there it's not bad so I've got that to pick up I've got a challenge extreme now one of my subscribers actually um, has been asking me about the challenge extreme strimmers and funny enough I'm actually picking one up today and there's I think there's a mount field in there as well could possibly be a mount field strimmer as well so there's uh, there's quite a few bits there to be had and whilst he's there I might take another little bit of money and see if he's got anything else just come in so it's been about a week since I since I got these off of, off of the, uh, the auction site so I might take a bit more money with me and if he's got a your chainsaw knocking about or anything like that because now's the time to be selling chainsaws it's winter time storms are coming in all that sort of good stuff so people like to cut back their gardens in the winter rather than cutting back in the summer so if you're thinking about trying to earn yourself a few a few quid now's the time to pick up a few little chainsaws if you've got them because um, they should sell quite well but I'm looking forward to try and get the generator running. Hopefully it's just a, a petrol side of it and it's not an electrical side of it because I'm not much of a, of a sparky. But um, all of these, as I say, have been sold to me as spares or repair. So hopefully they're, they're in relative good condition. These are probably somebody who's got a contract with a recycling centre, again, down this part of the UK can't just buy stuff straight out of, out of the, um, the recycling centres. People have got contracts set up and they take them away as, as, as per the tonne. But I was looking on this person's um, site and he probably had he probably had around about 30 strimmers um, 15 hedge cutters he, have, he had another robin generator which that went for silly money um, compared to what I'm picking up and to be fair the Robin one look, looked a lot older than what I've got so I think I might have got a bit of a good deal there as I say it's, it's, no, it's not a big generator it's just a little tiny like a camping one you know the ones like, like the boiler kettle and what have you but it's always handy to have something like that in your shed because if your power ever drops out at home you know at least you can boil a kettle up at least you, at least you can do a few bits and pieces so he could be quite a good little contact to have. The 
because especially as we head into the winter although people start to clear out their sheds and have a bit of a winter tidy up before we pull all the stuff away people aren't buying aren't buying the mowers and strimmers and hedge cutters this time of year but this is my time of year where I like to buy them up so I like to get my levels nice and high so when I come into sort of March April time I've got I've got some bits in stock I think last year I had about 30 30 to 40 mowers in stock they weren't ready to go but uh, I did have a relatively good stock number ready for the season so as as the sun started to come up and the leaves started to go on the trees I, I was ready to go but this year because I've got the shed to consider as well um, I need to be a bit careful because of because of my because of the funds because as as you all should know it's not cheap to run a YouTube channel especially when you're running a YouTube channel like me I've got to buy you know, I've got to have stock in I've got to buy the machines in I've got to buy the spare parts in I've got to make sure my tools are up to date you know all that sort of stuff so that there is quite a big outlay to to have to run this channel and I think some people sometimes forget that it's not a question of just having yeah, you can have the basic tools to do it but you know to do other bits and pieces like honing out cylinders and all that sort of stuff that's additional tools so I need to be a bit cute because I just bought out a new shed and that's got to, be, got to have some work and modifications done to it and then when we get back I might do a little quick quick test fire up see if I can't get some of the stuff to at least fire um, it'd be nice if some of it just literally put fuel in the way you go that'd be fantastic but I can't see it but we'll see so give us five ten minutes although it'd be a couple of seconds for you guys and uh, I'll head down to to Brighton way Hurst Pier Point and I'll go and pick up these uh these bits of garden equipment and I'll come back to see you in a minute right let's do a quick glance what we got um, it's all back home now got my colic um, curve shaft trimmer that's got compression check the old fuel lines yeah fuel lines are in place so that's probably going to be a carburetor fix on that one that tank that is so that'll probably be a carby little chainsaw compression as well so let's look into that one fuel lines are intact on there as well so I'm looking for quick fixes really that's not the right uh, not right uh, scabbard for that nice little Kawasaki trimmer that's got compression as well a lot of oil on this one I'm seeing fuel lines are in place. I'm not quite sure on that one yet either. The McCulloch. That's not done a lot of work. What's the age on that one? Uh, 2016 model. And I can hear a suspicious sound yeah fuel lines are off from that one so that's why that one hopefully wasn't wasn't running got this big boy this is a, a partner quite a nice good sized blade on this one good compression on that one too see fuel lines and I can see the filter there could be a carburetor fix on that one that's what I'm hoping a uh, what's this one 
Power Extreme or something along the line of Power Pro Performance. I'm only seeing one fuel line on that one. Got good compression. And the um, F Co. Thought like there's a bit missing from here somewhere on this one, possibly. Uh, fuel lines are in place. And that's got compression as well. Sounds a bit dicky at the top end on that one. And then we've got the uh, generator. Full course hanging out. Nah. I don't know if that's seized. Or what's going on, but I can't pull that at all. So that, that I want looking into. tank looks brand new inside so I'm hoping that's just been thrown away because um, because the pull core stuck so that's what I got um, out of the old job lot so I'm quite happy with it all um, I shan't tell you what I paid for them but it wasn't a great deal but it was certainly worth picking up. So out of all of them, uh, the quick fixes is gonna be the McCulloch, because that's fuel lines off. Kawasaki, probably. I'm hoping the partner would be a good fix too. The three hedge trimmers is what I'm trying to get the money back on. If I sell two of the hedge trimmers, I'm well into profit. And then if of course I get a generator running, then, then we're laughing, but that's what it is. That's what it looks like. Uh, let us know what you think. Okay, so I've got some rather nice bits of kit there, about eight or nine items, give or take, um, three hedge cutters, cut the strimmers, uh, a generator and a chainsaw. So um, that lot didn't cost me a great deal, as I say, but I still have to lay money out for them. I'm hoping just for a, a, the sale of one good one should give me my, my money back, um, but I might have to sell two items to be within profit. So this is now what I call my time of year to um, buy all these two strokes up nice and cheap. Um, they're all empty, they've got no fuel in them at all already, so um, technically they're winterised, but they, they, they've been sent uh, to this person for, for a reason, because they don't run. Um, I'm a bit concerned about a generator, I might have bought a Duffin, but this is a problem, and the, the risk you run when you buy stuff as spares or repair, you don't get the opportunity to view or to pull the pull cord or anything, so um, hopefully it's just the pull cord is jammed and we can get it to turn. Um, need to check for all of that sort of stuff, and that's irrespective of if the electrics work or not. So we shall see. Let us know in the comments down below what you think is up with either of the um, of the machines. I've just had a quick little look at them now. Um, literally done nothing to them apart just open the fuel tanks up, which is the most common thing with the fuel pipes perishing and what have you, primer bulbs, all that sort of good stuff. So let us know what you think in the comments, um, and let us know what you would have paid um, as a job lot for for that little lot there. Um, just see if I if I'm paying in around the right right sort of um, margin. Uh, so thank you very much for joining me on this episode of Mixed Mowers. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. Don't forget to give the old thumbs up. That helps towards the growth of my channel. And also to give the old um, button a tap on the bell. That will give you a notification to tell you that I've released another video. And on your way out, just before you shut the door, don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time in watching Mixed Mowers. Plenty more videos to come, despite it is coming towards the end of the season. I should be working all the week, all the year round, um, getting these machines and bits and pieces up and running, um, ready for next season. So on top of that, I've got a shed to do as well, but uh, so I'm gonna be busy, busy, busy. So looking forward to seeing you all again next time. Don't forget, take it easy.